How amazing would it be to wake up every morning to check your phone and then see new appointments booked into your calendar with potential clients that are interested in learning more about working with you? Well, this can be done by using what I call an automated appointment funnel. An automated appointment funnel is hands down the best funnel when it comes to getting predictable leads, appointments and clients in your business in a way that is automated, profitable, scalable and predictable. And in this video, I'm going to show you behind the scenes of my automated appointment funnel and the same funnel that I use for my clients, which is also an automated appointment funnel in order to get leads, appointments and clients. And I'm going to show you how it all works and how you can create one in your own business if you don't already have one. And even if you do already have a funnel designed to get appointments, if you're not really getting any great results, I'm going to share with you some tips that you can implement to help you improve the results from your existing appointment funnel. So the first step to creating a high converting automated appointment funnel is to sign up for funnel building software. So funnel building software is different to what you would use for your website. A website is really a place where people can learn more about you and your services and it's designed to build up trust. But a funnel is a specifically engineered series of landing pages that are designed to take people from a stranger into a lead, into an appointment, and then into a client. So there's a big difference. A website usually has lots of different links and a navigation menu and lots of different pages. And a funnel is usually a lot more simplified. It really doesn't have any distractions. It doesn't really have a navigation menu or anything like that. Again, it's just a series of landing pages designed to get people from point A to point B. So from point A, where they have never heard about you, to point B, where they're actually a client and they're excited to work with. Thank you. So there are hundreds of different funnel building tools that you can use these days to build your funnel. And I don't really mind too much which one you use as long as you're happy with it and it does the job. There are tools like ClickFunnels, LeadPages, Pineapple, HubSpot, and hundreds of other tools that you could use to start building these different landing pages and start connecting everything together. However, if you want to use the tool that I generally recommend, it's the tool that I use in my own business. And it's also the tool that probably about 80% of my clients use, then that tool is Carl. And the reason we all use Kartra is because it is an all-in-one funnel building tool. So what this means is that it does your landing pages, it does your video hosting, it can send out your automated emails, you can take payments online from people, you can do uh, monthly payments and subscription payments if you wanted to, uh, it handles your online course, your membership area, and a whole host of other features that, you know, I couldn't cover everything that it can do in this one short video. But it can do a lot of things and it does a lot of things all from one piece of software. So what this means is that you save money because you don't have to buy all these different tools and then link them together. And it also makes your life easier because you can pretty much run or manage your whole business from one piece of software. Now, this video isn't sponsored by Kartra or anything like that. It's just the tool that I use and it's the tool that most of my clients use. I've been using it for probably about at least five years now, I'd say probably a bit more. And it's a tool that has definitely helped me grow my business over the years. So I do highly recommend it. And recently, they've also given me a discount that I can give to people. So just click the link in the description of this video if you'd like to check them out and sign up for that free trial. So once you sign up for your funnel building software, you can now start building the different landing pages of your funnel. So the first landing page that you're going to need is called the opt-in page. So the opt-in page is the page where people enter their name and email in order to opt-in and get access to your lead magnet, which in this case for the automated appointment funnel, we are going to be using a video sales letter as the lead magnet. Now I have a whole nother video on my YouTube channel, which goes through in more detail how to create a high conversion converting opt-in page. But really just to kind of summarize the main points in this video, uh, the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure that in your opt-in page, you make a big promise and it has to be a big specific promise that explains to people how you can solve a big painful problem that they have in their life or in their business. And then you say to people, if they want to learn more about solving this problem to just enter their name and email, and then you will send them a copy of a video that goes through in more detail how they can solve this problem. For example, in my business, I help people get high quality leads and appointments. And then I have a form where they can enter their name and email to sign up and get access to that video. And I'll explain later on at the end of this video why this opt-in page is so important and a crucial first step for the automated appointment funnel. Because sometimes I've seen some people try to skip this step and just jump straight to the next step, which is the video page. But trust me, you're not going to get the best results when you do that. And I've, I've tested both methods. I've tested just sending people to the opt-in page and sending people to 
to the video page and you definitely get better long-term results when it comes to sending people to the opt-in page. But anyway, I'll talk more about that at the end of this video. Now, the next part of the funnel is the video page. So after they enter their name and email in the opt-in page, you need to send them to the video page. Now, the video page is where you put a video sales letter. It's a video presentation that explains how you can help them. Now, you don't want to position this video presentation in a way where you're explaining specifically how your company can help them, at least not in the beginning of the video presentation. You really want to explain how they can solve a problem using the strategy that you recommend that they use. So it's really more about providing value to them and helping them understand what they maybe don't already know and helping them to solve that problem. And then towards the end of that video, after you've showed them how they can solve that problem, after you showed them maybe other alternative different solutions, then you can talk about your solution, why your solution is better than those alternative solutions and explain a little bit more about what it would be like to work with you so that they can get better results versus maybe doing those other alternative solutions of maybe just trying to do this all by themselves. Now, if you do this step right, the beautiful thing that will happen is instead of you getting appointments with people that you kind of have to speak to them on the phone and really convince them to work with you and they're very skeptical, what will happen instead is that you'll get appointments with people that are pretty much 80 or 90% already sold. And that's because they've watched the video sales letter that explains how you can help them, what makes you different, what is the value you provide. And then that means they're going to be excited and motivated to want to work with you. So it makes a big difference when you actually have appointments with people if you show them a video first that explains how you can actually help them. So after they watch the video, if they like what they hear in the video, you can then have a button below the video where they can schedule a call or apply to work with you by filling out an application form. Now you could either do the schedule call option first or you could do the application form first. It really just depends what is your priority in your business. So for example, if your priority is to get as many appointments as possible, then I would recommend going with the scheduling page first. So let people schedule a call in your calendar first. You can use a tool like Calendly to do this. There's hundreds of other tools you can use as well. But the point is you want to make it easy for people to schedule a call in your calendar. So if you want to get as many appointments as possible, then I would recommend doing that first. However, if you're already pretty busy in your business and you want to make sure you get the highest quality appointments instead of quantity and your focus is more about quality, then I would recommend having an application form first. So the application form will just go through a few pre-qualifying questions. It also makes sure that people who do schedule a call with you that they are definitely interested because they have to now jump through another loop in order to schedule that call. So what happens is you sometimes do get less appointments, but the appointments that you do get because they filled out that application form they tend to be a much better and higher quality prospect versus someone that maybe hasn't filled in an application form yet. And that's because the application form a lot of the time will just filter out people that are not definitely the best fit for you right now. So if you want to get the highest quality number of appointments then have the application form first and then from the application form you can redirect them to your scheduling page where they can schedule a call in your calendar. For example on your application form one of the things you could do to pre-qualify people is ask them what is their budget and you can make it so that if anyone doesn't have the minimum requirements that you need or the budget in order for you to be able to work with them, then they just don't go to the next step and actually schedule a call in your calendar. So that's just one quick example of how you could pre-qualify people and make sure that you get higher quality appointments when people actually book a call with you in order to speak with you and learn more about your services. So now that someone has actually filled out an application form and they've scheduled a call with you to work with you in your calendar, you might be thinking, well, that's it. Well, actually, no, that's not it. That's not the end of the process. And what you need to do next is actually very important if you want to make sure that you get a high show up rate for these appointments and also to make sure that you can convert as many of these appointments as possible into clients. So the next thing you want to do after they schedule that call or they fill in the application form and everything's done, the next thing you want to do is take them to a call confirmation page. Now a call confirmation page isn't just designed to let people know that the call is now booked. The call confirmation page is actually designed to get them to consume more content before the call. And the reason this is so important is because Google did a study and they found that the more content 
someone consumes before they actually speak to you, the more likely they are to convert into a client. So if you want to increase the chances that someone shows up for the call and increase the chance that someone actually converts into a client after they schedule that call and speak to you, make sure that on the call confirmation page, you send them to more pages on your website where they can learn more about you or they can read more about you. Or in some cases, if you have a YouTube channel, let them watch more videos about what it is that you do and how you can help them. And that on its own will massively increase the amount of conversions that you get from your automated appointment funnel. Now, the other thing you also want to do before you actually have an appointment with someone and speak to them is you want to make sure that again, they show up to the appointment. So one of the simplest ways that you can do that is by making sure that in the scheduling tool that you're using, for example, if you're using Calendly, you want to make sure that you turn on email notifications and text notifications so that people receive email and text reminders before the appointment. And that will again, help increase the show up rate so that you don't just get people booking appointments and then not show up, but you get people booking appointments and actually showing up and you're basically doing everything you can to make sure that you don't waste your time and you don't have an appointment where someone just simply doesn't show up or pick up the phone. So it's a very good idea to make sure that you include text and email reminders in the scheduling tool that you use. Now, what happens if you get a lead, but that lead then doesn't actually convert into an appointment? So let's just say someone enters their name and email, they maybe watch the video or they don't watch the video, but either way, they don't schedule a call or they don't fill out the application form. Is that the end of the lead now? Are they not going to convert ever? Well, no, as you probably guessed, what you can do next is send out automatic emails. And this is where your email marketing comes into place. And your email marketing is really designed to help you maximize your conversions. So in any funnel, you always get a small percentage of people that will convert straight away. So you always get a few people that will go through the funnel and they'll become a lead, they'll become an appointment. And within the first few weeks or maybe even a few months, they'll convert into a, an actual appointment and then a client. And that's pretty typical. You always get a small percentage of your leads who will go through the whole process. However, the majority of your leads will not go through the whole process, at least not initially. So what you need to do to maximize your conversions is send out follow-up emails that send them back to your video page or back to your schedule page or back to your application page. And if you keep doing this, if you keep sending weekly emails uh, week in and week out with emails that provide value to them and then course actions going back to your video or back to your schedule page, what will happen is you'll notice over time you get more and more leads converting into appointments and into clients. So coming from someone who has been in business for over 15 years now, I've seen how powerful email marketing really is. And I've had leads that have converted, you know, I had leads convert in a few weeks, in a few months. Uh, I had leads convert in a few years. But what's amazing to me is I've had leads not just convert in a few years, but literally I've had leads that have converted five to 10 years down the line. So this is just incredible because if I think about it, if I would have stopped emailing these leads, let's just say I just emailed leads for a year or, or six months or even three months, I would have missed out on so many clients simply because I stopped emailing leads. So from my experience, I found the more emails you can send to people over a period of time, the more leads that you'll get that will convert into appointments and convert into clients. So now that you've got all the different pieces set up, you've got all the different landing pages, the forms, the video, the follow-up emails, and all the different automations behind the scenes ready to go, what do you need to do next? Well, people are not just going to randomly stumble upon your funnel and go into it. You need to be proactive and actually send people to the funnel. And and that's because the more people that go into the funnel, the more clients that you'll get out of the funnel. So you need a way to proactively always be sending people into the funnel. So how can you do that? Well, that's where you use different marketing and lead generation strategies to consistently get people to go into the funnel. So there's lots of ways you can do this, but I recommend using the Pareto principle when it comes to advertising and marketing your sales funnel. So when it comes to using the Pareto principle, what that basically means is that 20% of your work will give you 80% of your results. So what you want to do is you want to avoid doing 80% of the busy work that everyone else is doing that really only contributes to 20% of the results. And instead you want to just do the 20% of work that contributes to 80% of your results. So over the years, I've seen so many people spend so much time just focusing on creating a logo or a really nice looking website, or maybe they're posting on social media every day, or maybe they're interacting with other people on social media, or maybe they're in different uh, business community groups. There's a lot of online groups and 
communities right now where you can talk and share what you're doing and things like that. And the reality is, unfortunately, all of that stuff a lot of the time is just easy work. And sure, you might get the odd client here and there from doing all that kind of stuff, but it's not really going to contribute to the 80% of your results. The 80% of your results only comes from 20% of the work. And it's the work where you focus on the right things and the right areas of your business and you sort of do the right things and the right strategies to get the maximum results. So if you're wondering what are those strategies, what is it that you need to do to do the 20% of work to get the 80% of results, then I recommend signing up for my free masterclass training. I'll leave a link in the description. And when you sign up, pay close attention to step four of that free training. Because in step four, I go through in more detail, what is the busy work that everyone else is doing when it comes to marketing uh, their sales funnel and their business? And what is the actual work that gets results? So what is the 20% of work you need to do to get you 80% of the results? And I go through what that is in step four of that video. Now, of course, you can watch all the steps in order and that will probably make more sense. But when you get to step four, pay close attention to what those are so that you can learn more about how you can implement the Pareto principle in your business and get the best results. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.